Welcome to Rick Drayson Live. I am the one, the only Rick Drayson, and you're here with me and my guest today, who's a friend of mine for many, many years. He was in bodybuilding and fitness and nutrition for many, many years. That's actually how we met in the gym. Then he became a chiropractor, and it's my honor to have with me here Dr. Marco Giuliano. It's an honor Thank to you, be Marco, with you, for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, we go back a long, long way. 20 years. Yeah, at least. Because I think we met when I was 20 and I'm 40 now. <laughs> you look amazing for 40. You know, it's my skin and my moisturize and I do everything that takes to make me look young and handsome. And I have a bowl of fruit as well with my little heart cup of water. Um, you, when I first met you, you came to Northridge Golds. I did. And you stood up front and kind of eyeballed everything like, I don't know if I am quite want to be here or not, but you did, right? <laughs> I did. Yeah. I saw you and a few other, uh, right. a few other you, veterans. And you, where, where, where did you move from? From Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. You were training back there, obviously? Yes. Uh, I, I'm an old football player. Okay. So I started when I was 9, 10 years old. Yeah. Training for football. And um, I actually read Franco Colombo's book, Coming on Strong, while I was in college. Yeah. He inspired me to keep training after my career was over. Oh, sure. And then, of course, he's a chiropractor. That's true. So um, Franco's my idol. He said that the man had a lot of knowledge. When you, when you were training, uh, you competed? I, yes, I uh, won the Mr. Massachusetts in 83. Yeah. And I didn't compete till I was 41 again. Oh, really? In the Orange County Masters, I played second. And what brought you back to compete again? It's fun. Um, it's, fun in... it's fun except for the po political end of it. Politically, any... it's a crapshoot. Yeah, definitely. But all the training and all the nutrition and diet, I mean, that's what it's all about. Totally, it's, it's what it's it, about. It's so much fun. The thing, the thing about it is it becomes a lifestyle. I, I talk to people who want to come train, and they're going to join a gym, and they stay there for about four weeks, and then they lay off for a couple of months, and then they might go back. And it's like anything in life. You have to have consistency. You know? Absolutely. Whether you're going to work out hard or not work out hard, if you just get in there and do something, it's better than doing nothing. Absolutely. Now, along with all the training that we do, and the training that you have become problems physically. There's neck problems, there's back problems. As I have had. There's knee problems, shoulders, elbows, yes. wrists, and, and you became a chiropractor. I did. For what reason? My neck was in such pain, I, pl I actually played in a lot of neck pain <clears throat> in, in college football and semi-pro. And um, back in Boston, my training partner said, kid, you're a mess. Just go see my chiropractor. Mm -hmm. I had never, never been to one. I was 22 years old, and that changed my life. So he, he inspired me to, to become a... He said, why don't you think about this as a career? You'd yeah, be a good one. Sure. So. Well, it takes, it takes knowledge, and it takes strength as well for adjustments. Uh, when I was in More high school... technique, though. Really. It, yeah, I know it's technique. When I was in high school, and we used to go on dates, they used to call it either making out or necking. And I want to know, is all that necking played part on my neck? <laughs> because my neck was always in this position, well, right? Well, certainly it's the amount that you did probably did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so uh, you've been a chiropractor how many years now? 14 years. And you have a, a definite method that a lot of people don't use. Yes. Explain uh, that to I, me. I am a Gonstead chiropractor. Okay. It's G-O-N-S-T-E-A-D. And I'm very blessed and I feel very lucky to be able to be a Gonstead chiropractor. Dr. Clarence Gonstead, I think, was the greatest chiropractor to, to have ever lived. Okay. He practiced 55 years, from 1923 until his death in 1978. He treated over 2 million people. And he developed his own system of x-ray analysis, spinal analysis, nervoscope, uh, and he invented the full spine lateral film. Remember the ones I took of you? Sure. He invented those. Then he invented his own system of x-ray marking. And then, of course, his own technique. Right. Along with that, he built his own chiropract Gonstead chiropractic tables and the cervical chair for the neck. Right. He, he invented those. Now, I have been to many chiropractors over the years, long before I knew you. Um, they played an important part in my life wrestling because yeah. my back would go out a lot right. and my L5 would go out and certain things like that. And, what we used to do in the ring is the night of the show, I'd tell my opponent, give me one good body slam and put me back in. And a lot of times it worked. <laughs> <laughs> my back hurts, just give me a good slam. And we had some wrestlers that were chiropractors that worked us in the dressing room. But they didn't have the method that you do. And I've never been able to get that L5 in Correct. with a lumbar roll or any of those things. Right. I don't know if I'm too dense muscular. You are too muscular. Right. There's, 
an inside posture, right. you'll, it will never happen. Okay. So I came to you one day, my back was out, and I was S-shaped. I had washed the wheel on my car it's and I wanted to an stand up, and I couldn't stand it's up. It's called an antalgic lean. You're leaning one way to stay out of pain. Yeah, I almost changed my name to Eileen because of that. <laughs> and and oh. so when I came to see you, you put me on the bench, on my knees. On the Gonstead knee chest table. Exactly. And you came down and you found the spot, after you use your meter, of course. That's right. And you, boom. And I heard, when that thing clunked, I heard... Los Angeles shake <laughs> like this and I stood up and it was in yeah. like that and and the thing was is that I didn't wait a week I didn't wait three days I came in the same day I did it before it had a chance to swell up on me am I right you're absolutely right because that disc swells it does yeah because the vertebra above it is stuck it subluxes it right and so when and that swollen disc pinches the nerve on that side exactly and the muscles spasm around it, right? The brain tells the muscles to spasm, guard, protect Rick at all costs. Okay. And others. Rick and others. Rick, in your case, Rick. <laughs> yeah. And so what it does is it shifts your spine on me. I felt it going like this. Exactly. But that's the brain telling your body to shift in an antalgic lean to keep you out of pain. Right. That's right. what it's doing. I still had a lot of pain. That's a very, very painful thing to go out. Extremely. I've had it several yeah, times. Yeah, I mean, it's just like you can, you're walking around, your whole stomach's caved in on one side, and you can't even it's, sit on this weather horrible. property. You have to straddle it. It's horrible. Um, the, the thing is, and for all of you out there, I mean, this method that he uses is number one for me. I will I always swear by that. this. I appreciate and you got to do your homework afterwards. So after we had adjusted me, I went home and I iced it 20 ice. minutes at a time. Ice and walk. Right. Because the pumping action of walking pulls inflammation out of the disc. Right. So you keep doing that over and over, get adjusted a few times. By the second and third day, I was fine. Yeah. If I hadn't come in like I, before when this had happened to me. You would have been in trouble. For a whole week, I was, I was, or two weeks even, I was stiff and I couldn't move. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that if this ever happens to you, get to your chiropractor. Get to Marco, actually, if you're living nearby. <laughs> because, I appreciate that. No, no, it's true because you're the only person, I've said this over and over, that can really adjust me the way I need to be adjusted. I appreciate that. It's really just, cool. you know, we, I came in, what, two weeks ago, I had a, a rib out in the middle of my back, and it hurt to breathe, and it hurt to turn a certain way, and uh, either that or my friends were knifing me in the back, talking behind my back. I'm not quite <laughs> sure what it was, but you it's adjusted voodoo. me. <laughs> yeah, it was a voodoo, right? You adjusted me, and I was better, like, right away. The Gonstead adjustment, Rick, is very deep and specific. Yeah. We don't do general manipulations. We don't twist the spine. We don't rotate the neck. Yeah. And that's how many chiropractors do it right which is wrong it's yeah. absolutely wrong so Gonstead was very very incredibly biomechanically accurate and specific in his adjustments and in his assessment of the spine All right, I'm so. gonna compare I'm gonna compare the two to a medical doctor and a chiropractor I have talked to so many people that say oh, I have back pain I'm going to my doctor gave me pain pills, pills. that's putting a band-aid on correct just he, masking the problem it's masking the pain and not treating the cause, but the symptom. Right, exactly. It's treating the symptom. Right. You have to get to the root of the, of the problem. Correct. Once you adjust that problem, everything else around it comes into play and works. Because the, the brain tells everything to compensate mm -hmm. for a pinched nerve. Right, right. And that produces half the pain, is all the spasm. Now, I had so, mentioned, you know, I'm sorry, go I'm ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I had mentioned to you for the past couple of months, I've had numbness in my hand. It's coming from you now. Yeah, when I sleep at night and I lay on my right, now when I'm sitting for a while, I use the mouse, it, it's going numb and numb and numb right, on me. Right. And you say it's coming from my neck. Um, is there a way around that chiropractic-wise rather than having surgery? I do not want to have surgery on, a, on my neck and, and work with a and nerve. Nor do you need surgery. Well, that's what I was going to say. You don't always need surgery. I've saved many patients from surgery, low back and, and neck surgery and also carpal tunnel surgery. Yeah. We've saved them because we also adjust all the extremity joints of the body. I always wonder about carpal tunnel because I don't know that I've had it because I always use the carpal lane. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty free <laughs> when it comes to that sort of thing. The carpool lane. <laughs> well, the carpal lane, you're driving, you get carpal tunnel from driving that lane all the time. <laughs> um, I do have sore wrists. I do get sore wrists at times. Okay. And I had, had cortisone shots in them and I didn't do much. You know, I think so. They won't. No, it didn't seem. I don't know that it's in here, but in here. That's the lunate bone. I'll just adjust that when we're done. Yeah? Will it hurt? No. It won't hurt me a bit. I didn't think so. What are your feelings about going back to training? And a lot of people that you treat are weightlifters and bodybuilders, right? Right. right. About using heavy weights compared to light weights and reps. While they're injured or? Well, at all. 
Do you think the heavyweights, uh, the, they maybe stimulate the, the injury? As a heavy weightlifter, I, I think it, it can exacerbate what's going on. Yeah. Because the ligaments have been weakened. And so, yeah, you have to be careful and train around the injury. And so light training, higher reps uh, are good while you have an issue. Okay. Do you get the same results from that as you would from heavy training for you as a bodybuilder? I would say no because you are limited in the movements that you can do. Yeah. So no, but, but you're still training. That's and that's the body wants movement. I tell all my patients, whether they're athletes or not. Right. The body wants movement. So do what you like to do. Go, go walk, go play tennis. When your body allows you to do it. I have, a, I have a couple of issues. I have uh, bone on bone on my knee. Correct. I have arthritis in the shoulder. It's, a, it's completely right. frozen. Right. And, um, and yet you can still press. I can still work out. I can still do laterals, pressing and all that. Putting a jacket on is hard. Closing the door is hard. Right. But I, I also want to let all of you out there who have these problems, because people watching, everybody has something wrong. They do. There's, just, there's no doubt in my mind. Sitting home is the worst thing you can do. The worst. Being sedentary, the body doesn't want it. No. It wants to move. It freezes up. You get adhesive capsulitis in the joint, yeah. which is scar tissue. Right. And the movement prevents that. So. so any kind of movement or exercise, if you're injured or if you have this, I mean, you're not going to injure yes. it worse. You're just going to keep it mo mobile, yes. keep the blood in the blood flow, which is really important, to feed it. Absolutely. I, I treat a lot of ballet dancers because my daughter is a ballet right. dancer. And um, I tell them, get back to ballet class as soon as you can. I get them back within a week or two, really? back into full-fledged, yes. How does diet play a part in diet, what Diet, as you know, Rick, is For me, every, I know, but they everything. don't know, so. Diet is everything. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's probably 80, 90% of the battle, because if you don't fuel your body correctly, it's like driving a jalopy, as opposed to a, a race car, right. a Ferrari. You want to feed it like it's a Ferrari, right. so that you can do what you want to do with great energy. Right. So a balanced diet, just high protein, high quality protein, right. lots of fruits and vegetables, and watch the starches. Yes, it's basically a bodybuilding diet. It is. Uh, now they call it the paleo diet, which you and I have been yes, doing. Yes, I know that. They call it the Atkins diet, the Beverly Hills diet, the Zone diet. They, they the, rename it every five years. The Rick Drayson diet now. The Rick Drayson diet. But it's, it's the old diet that we did back in the 60s. I say this all the time. It's the high protein, low you carb. You see how things come full circle? Yes. And, and it's, it doesn't mean that you're on a diet. It means you have good eating habits. It means you just, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. If you say diet in your mind, automatically you stop and say, oh, I got to watch everything Absolutely. I eat. But you don't have to watch it. You just have you to lay it out properly. Because so you can, we can cheat it once in a while. Right. Occasionally cheat and get away with it because we're right back on the regimen. Exactly. But you got to go back on it. You can't do weeks of cheating. Well, people with a weak mind yeah. will, will st stay on the, uh, yeah. on the, uh, the cheating cycle. Right. So when you have nutrition, you have a, a proper diet, and you're feeding your body proper things, you're also taking care of those joints and the muscles and the ligaments and the tendons that surround your body to feed them, to keep them healthy and strong. Absolutely. I'm a, I'm a big believer in supplementation as well. Yeah, me too. Fish oil helps inflammation of the joints, right. glucosamine, yep. sulfate, which you, you know very yeah. well. Um, vitamin C, the antioxidants, C, E, A, yeah. uh, B complex. I just found out recently I was low on vitamin D. And I've talked to a few other people, it's, too. It's, it is an incredible antioxidant, Rick. Is it? I take 10,000 units a day, 10,000 How can you be low on it if you're outside in the sun all the time? Because we, don't, we really don't get a lot of sun. I guess not, because I've never been low on it before. But this do is you something take a supplement? I do, yeah. Perfect. Definitely, I'd take it. Um, who needs chiropractic treatment in your mind? Everybody? Pretty much? I believe every, everybody. <clears throat> I think. I mean, I've, I've adjusted babies toddlers, yeah. kids all the way up, right. senior citizens. Um, we, I've saved five kids from surgical ear tubes because the atlas, the first cervical vertebrae, was subluxated. Yeah. And the, the ENT thought they had an ear infection. And they were ready to put tubes. It's totally unnecessary. That's good. Because That's really in many of the cases, it's not an ear infection. It's fluid. So one adjustment takes care of it, and the fluid drains, and they're fine. Good to know. So... So, see your chiropractor. 
<laughs> I'm serious. It really works. And so many people are skeptical, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total believer. Before I go to a doctor for anything, I would do that. So let's let people know, where can we find you, where you're located? I'm at 111 North Victory Boulevard, Burbank, okay. California. Phone number is 818-558-4030. And if you guys have any problem finding Marco, you can find me on my website, rickdrayson.com. And uh, you can email me, and I can forward his address to you well. But you also have a website, which is? DrGCairo.com. That's easy, DrGCairo.com. I want to thank you for being here. Rick, it's an honor. Yes, it's, it's, it's been a real pleasure. And I want to thank all of you people for watching and learning about the body and how to take care of it and how to treat it and how to adjust it so it meets your daily needs. And then please stay tuned for news and weather following. It's Rick Grayson Live. See you next time. Hi, I'm Rick Grayson. For tips on health and nutrition and fitness and bodybuilding and wrestling and all the stuff you want to know, Subscribe to me on EmpowerMe.tv. I'm on every Friday at 12.30 p.m. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Stay healthy.